This is my third attempt at making this video today. Probably my sixth attempt at making it, period. So I'm actually just gonna briefly touch on my pregnancy because I'm sick of talking about it because <laughs> I've tried to make this video so many times. But with the newborn, I'll take what I can get, which right now is my free time because we're hanging out in the car. And I really should be cleaning my Airbnb that is a fucking disaster right now. Um, because Brandon brought all this stuff back from the States and his clothes are everywhere. I can't. Oh, there you go. There he is. I got my stretch marks. Okay, so anyway. Um, what was I talking about? Okay, so anyway. There's a lot of shit I should be doing, but I just want to get this video off my chest and then maybe I can make a video about my birth story and about, you know, the first month of having a newborn and um, just my advice on all of it. But first I'm going to get into pregnancy. So I'm just going to answer like maybe five common questions that I was asked and really quickly talk about that and then I'm going to talk about just my tips for pregnant mamas and new mamas etc so I was asked a million times if I was fully raw my whole pregnancy and I'm gonna kind of combine this question with my question about cravings um, I was also asked if I had cravings if I gave in to them what I did to help combat them etc so um, I wasn't raw Maybe, I don't know, somewhere along in the first trimester, I stopped eating fully raw. Um, I was really exhausted, like more exhausted than I've been until I had my baby in my whole life. I've never been that tired um, until now. Now I'm more tired. But um, that type of tired, there was nothing I could do about it. I couldn't take a nap and feel better, um, etc. So I had no desire to be preparing food. Um, combined with that, I had a lot of aversions to eating so many greens. Um, and then I kind of let people get into my head. Maybe it wasn't them getting in my head. It was me trying to justify eating cooked food. I'm not really sure. Um, looking back, I don't know where my head was at, but I let the whole protein crap get into my head. Um, and since I had these aversions to greens, I was like, oh, if I just eat some beans, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but for the most part, it was just like beans, potatoes, um, some like organic soups. Amy's organic, if you know. Um, I can't really think what else. That was like the majority of it. Hi, you are awake now, huh? Nope, that's not where my boob is. I'm not sure where you're going. There you go. I'm upset, please. So anyway, um, that was like the majority of it. There was a couple times I went out to eat with Brandon to an Indian restaurant and would get like whatever the hell they were cooking they had, which was mostly like beans and potatoes and stuff, but they probably used oil and who knows what else. Um, but I didn't feel good that way. I mean, I already didn't feel good because the first trimester just like knocks you on your ass. Um, and I told myself I was gonna get back to raw as soon as my energy came back, which it did right around the end of my first trimester. And I was fully raw from then until now, which I'm still eating fully raw. Um, minus like some random stuff, you know, like a rice paper wraps or um, just things like that that I don't, I'm just not like a psychopath about anything anymore because I'm not. So anyhow, so in regards to cravings, I didn't have too many like really unhealthy cravings. Um, like potatoes was one of them. And I guess you could say that I gave into that, but um, I don't really look at it that way because I was eating cooked food anyway. But what I did notice, and this is like really my advice for anyone trying to overcome cravings during pregnancy, is that um, 
they go away for one that's what I noticed they would go away really quickly and then I didn't have to um, and so if you don't give into it you know for like a day or two it's gonna go away I would like buy like a ton of potatoes and then they'd go bad because I was over the potato craving um, so but the other thing that like came to me was that there have been so many less important times in my life where I resisted cravings. Like I started a new diet and the only thing that I would care about, you know, this is a while ago, was like losing weight in my body image. And if I were able to resist a craving for such a shallow, unimportant reason, why couldn't I do it when it was like for the health of my baby, you know? so. That made it really easy for me, and I just didn't care about cravings at all. And I really, really, really want to press that to you if you're a pregnant mom. Like, this is the time to actually take the best care of yourself ever because you owe it to your baby and you owe it to your postpartum self. You do not want to be postpartum and feeling like a freaking slug more than you already do because you're sleep deprived. What are you doing? Um, he's finally like going to sleep, so I may have to get this video short because there's so much I have to do. Um, so anyway, that's just that. Just really take care of yourself. Um, I'm gonna get into that when I talk about postpartum tips, but first, then I'm gonna, I wanted to answer a few more questions. Um, so how much weight did I gain? Uh, I think around 25 or 26 pounds, I'm not 100% sure. I weighed myself in the beginning of my pregnancy much more often and then I kind of just, not vowed, but I just decided not to, to give myself some grace and, you know, think, focus on how I was feeling, not my weight. Um, I did weigh myself before we left for Costa Rica and that was around seven months pregnant and um, I actually lost weight right after that because... Um, uh, I'm just living a way more healthy lifestyle here. Um, I'm getting more fresh air. I'm getting more sunshine. Well, before <laughs> Anavi was born, those things were true, but I am eating much more healthy. Not that I was eating unhealthy in the States, but I was eating like a lot of like packaged raw snacks, like blackers. I'm not sure if you've had those thinking about them right now they're really good um, and like Glacier Farms stuff if you're familiar with Glacier Farms are an organic farm near Miami um, and they make like tons of raw food that's really good um, and just my diff my walking here outside is like basically like going on the highest incline on a treadmill um, and it's really hot, so you know, I was just constantly sweating and being active and just living a much more healthy lifestyle, eating local organic food that was like picked that day. Like, I wish I could get blood work done right now just to see the difference in my blood work um, from now and before. Like, I feel like I don't probably even need to take B12 now because it's probably actually still in the food because it's been growing, it's all being like grown in fresh soil of Costa Rica and the mountains and stuff. Um, so anyhow, so um, yeah, about 25 pounds, I wanna say. I'm not 100% sure. And my weight when I first got pregnant was also like four, or when I first knew I was pregnant, let me, say it was like four days into a juice fast so I probably lost like I always in the beginning would juice fast lose like five six pounds in the first couple days and then it like bottoms out um which I stopped when I found out I was pregnant so that number the amount I gained would probably be a little less if I hadn't started at like on lower than normal not than normal but whatever so that's that um what other questions was I asked? I did get asked tips for pregnant women, which I'm going to get into. Um, and I can't really think of anything. I can't think of the questions. I don't have them in front of me. It's just, I can't
can't really plan that way with the baby, unfortunately. So, pregnant mamas, especially first time mamas, the best, best, best piece of advice I can give to you is you are not going to get any less pregnant. So, don't tell yourself, I'll start doing blank, you know, tomorrow or the next day or something like that. Do it today because tomorrow you're going to be more pregnant and you're going to be more pregnant and more pregnant and more pregnant. So go to the class at the gym today, you know, get in your 10,000 steps today because there are going to be days where you just can't do it. And if that's not today, then do it today, you know. Really, really, really put your health first right now because you're only going to get more pregnant. You know, just remind yourself that every time you think that you're too tired to do something or you just don't feel like it, it's not going to get any easier. You're going to get heavier. You're going to get more tired. Um, although I really wasn't tired in my third trimester. I guess that's something people ask me about was morning sickness and fatigue. Um, I only had fatigue in the first trimester. Um, there were like a little bit of bouts of it, like when we were on a cruise and we, it was just so hot and we were on our feet constantly. But like, you know, a normal person might be tired in that situation. Um, and I did not have morning sickness at all. So um, my third trimester actually felt better than the rest of my pregnancy, but I also think a lot of that has to do with just the food and the air and being in Costa Rica. Um, but I felt really, really good. Toward the very, very end, I started having some pelvic pain, which when you're in your third trimester, your body releases relaxin, which is to prepare your body for labor. And I had like these times where it like just felt like my pelvis was gonna split in half. And also this weird like feeling like my leg was trying to dislocate. Um, and that was not fun, but like energy wise and mood wise, I felt really, really good. Um, like super good. Like I wanted to be active. I wanted to be outside. Um, but I was also so, so ready for Anabi to be here. So anyway, um, and in regards to just reminding yourself that you're not going to get any less pregnant, once your baby is here, you're not even going to have the option of doing any of those things you've been putting off. Like, depending on how needy your baby is and if you're breastfeeding and how much help you have from other people, like, even though Brandon and I both work from home, I don't really foresee it being a while until I can go to the gym. Like, I've already talked to him about how he's going to have to, like, drive me to the gym with a Navi there and, you know, drive around or sit in the parking lot in case he needs me. So, mm, that's, um, he's just, like, he's a pretty high needs baby and he's really hard to console when he doesn't know where I am. Um, so if I'm in the class in the gym and he just loses his shit, like, it's not that Brandon can't handle it and it's not that it's the end of the world. It's like, I can't be comfortable knowing that he could literally be hysterically crying for the entire time I'm at the gym. I can't, I won't be able to be at the gym. I won't be present. I probably would just end up leaving. So just things like that are preventing me from being active right now. Um, where I used to go for walks when I was pregnant, I don't have phone service. So again, if something were to happen and he was inconsolable, Brandon wouldn't be able to reach me. I guess he could like drive to me, but it's really hard to put him in the car when he's like that. Just all these things. So all I'm saying is when you're telling yourself, oh, I can't do it, I'm pregnant. Well, you certainly can't do it when you have a newborn. So do it now and you owe it to yourself to be in like pretty good condition when your baby comes because you have a lot of healing to do on very little sleep, very, very little sleep. Your baby wakes up, you know, every hour, hour and a half, sometimes less, sometimes more to nurse. So you're going to get these little increments of sleep and that's assuming like 
nobody wakes up to feed their baby and then just falls back to sleep immediately, especially in the beginning. I'm much better about it now and I'm getting more rest, um, a little bit easier depending on the kind of night he has, but um, you're going to be really fucking tired. So all of these things you have to really think about. You owe it to yourself to take care of yourself right now while you're pregnant because it's just going to be really, really hard on you if you're in total shit shape when your baby comes. Um, and it's not fair to your baby either. You want to be able to take care of them. So the first step in doing that is taking care of yourself. Um, other advice for pregnant, and that goes hand in hand with eating. Don't use your pregnancy as an excuse to treat your body like crap because your baby doesn't deserve that and you're really going to regret it postpartum. Um, and you know, people have also asked me like my tips for losing weight and getting your body back. First of all, throw that expression out because you're not getting your body back. Your body is not going back to how it was before and you shouldn't want it to. You're a mother now. Like. I have never been more in awe or in love with my body than I am right in this moment. And my boobs are fucking weird. Like some days, like I have porn star boobs when they're full and then I have like saggy, like lopsided things that like I'm trying to feed him and I have to squish it weird and like shove it in his mouth. And it's like trying to shove like a soggy hot dog bun in somebody's mouth and tell them like, suck on this. And he's like, I can't, it's too floppy. And I'm like, well, that's all you're getting. So, like, that's my body right now. And I actually gained hips in my pregnancy, which is cool. I never had those. Um, but, like, my tummy is squishy. Like, if I stand up, it looks okay. But if I sit down, it's like this big, squishy blob. And, oh, fucking well, you know, you have to just accept that. But as far as losing the weight goes, don't gain the weight. I'm not saying don't gain any weight. I'm just saying like take care of yourself and then you'll gain exactly the weight that you need to carry your baby healthfully and when your baby comes out most of the weight will be all of the things that were holding your baby together. There's a little bit extra because our DNA actually knows to store some fat in case of famine or anything and we're caring for a baby. I'm not kidding. That's like part of your thing. You're going to gain fat when you're pregnant unless you're not taking care of yourself, but you will lose it very, very easily if you don't gain a crap ton of weight because you're not taking care of yourself when you're pregnant. Um, I'm not trying to put any mamas down who gain weight when they're pregnant. I know pregnancy is really, really hard, but these are just like things that I learned along the way and I'm so, so grateful I did because if I had one more thing to be worrying about when Anavi was first born, like I really had to focus on healing and getting breastfeeding down. And <clears throat> if I was also like overweight and uncomfortable and you know, had all of the troubles that go along with not taking care of your body, I would be, wouldn't have been able to do it half as well. And I didn't do it that well. It was really, really hard. So just take care of yourself. You owe it to yourself and you owe it to your baby and fall in love with your postpartum body and your pregnant body. Really do it because it'll make such a huge difference. And yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I'm going to save, you know, my birth story for a different video and postpartum tips for a different video. And, you know, maybe when a Navi is more awake, introduce you to him better. But right now, that's all I've got for you. I'm going to try and get some stuff done if he stays asleep. Um, my hair is in his mouth. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. Let me know what you'd be interested in seeing more videos about. And um, let me know how I can make my videos better. I know like editing and all that crap, but I don't have time to learn how to do that right now. Um, if you have any tips on easy ways to learn how to do that or programs to use, all I have is my phone to record videos. So I would need something that I can use my phone videos right now. Um, but let me know and I'll catch you in the next video.
and leave me any comments or questions and I promise to do my best to answer them. Bye.